welcome to the podcast for when the curves line up for September 30th, 2023. Please see the article that includes diagrams of today's events on the website at whenthecurveslineup.com. Text by Jeffrey L. Hunt. In Chicago, sunrise occurs at 6.46 a.m. Central Daylight Time followed by sunset at 6.34 p.m. Here is today's planet forecast. In the morning sky. Over three hours before sunrise, Venus rises with Saturn low in the west-southwest. Saturn is challenging to see without a binoculars optical assist. The planet's low altitude, height above the horizon, affects the visibility because of the atmosphere's blurring and dimming effects that are easily observed with the rising and setting sun and moon. On October 10, Venus rises as Saturn sets and they are not in the sky at the same time until next year. One hour before sunrise this morning the bright moon, 99% illuminated, is nearly 25 degrees up in the west-southwest and about the same distance to the lower right of bright Jupiter. The lunar orb moves closer to the Jovian giant during the next two nights. Jupiter continues to retrograde in front of Aries, 13.1 degrees to the left of Hamel, the ram's brightest star, and 11.2 degrees to the upper right of Menkar, Cetus Nostril. A binocular might be needed to see these stars in the bright moonlight. Earlier this morning at 1.21 a.m. CDT, Jupiter's great red spot is at the center of the planet in the southern hemisphere. Farther eastward, brilliant Venus and Mercury put on a show above the eastern horizon. At 45 minutes before daybreak, the morning star is over 30 degrees above the east-southeast horizon. Through a telescope, Venus displays a morning crescent that is 36% illuminated. While the phase is growing, the word waxing is not used for Venus phases. Venus is stepping eastward in front of Leo. It passes Regulus, meaning the Prince, October 9th. Through a binocular the planet is 1.5 degrees above the star Omicron Leonis. Venus passes the star in two mornings. Mercury continues its retreat into morning twilight after its best morning display of the year. The planet is bright, but it is less than 6 degrees above the eastern horizon. It is easy to see from a location with an unobstructed view toward Mercury's direction. In the evening sky, Mars sets less than 40 minutes after sunset. It is dim and not easily visible with this early setting time. An hour after sundown, Saturn is over 20 degrees above the southeastern horizon. It continues to retrograde, move westward compared to the background stars, in front of Aquarius, 10.0 degrees to the upper right of Skate, the Aquarian's leg, and 10.5 degrees to the right of Lambda Aquarii, Lambda Acra on the chart. The ringed wonder appears farther westward during the night and low in the west-southwest as Venus rises tomorrow morning. The moon is rising at this hour in the east-northeast. Two hours later, the lunar orb, 96% illuminated, is less than 25 degrees up in the east and 13.2 degrees to the upper right of Jupiter, over 15 degrees up in the east. The Jupiter-moon distance has closed since this morning. Look for their separation in the morning. As the day ends, Jupiter, led by the moon, is in the east-southeast. Tomorrow morning, they are in the southwestern sky. Thank you for listening. Please read the articles at whenthecurveslineup.com.